What's up, church fam? I'm so glad that you're watching this video because what you're watching is something we're gonna try this summer. It's gonna be a little bit different. Instead of doing like a discipleship training class that's gonna be at the church that would have lasted like an hour, we're gonna try to give you 10 minutes of training that you can watch right there on your phone anytime you'd like, okay? And today's training is this, the easiest way to reach people for Jesus. I wanna teach you today a principle that I've learned, a strategy that I've learned that I believe is probably the easiest way to reach people for Jesus. But before I tell you that, I wanna tell you the reasons why. Because the why we believe is the most important question to answer when it comes to life in general, but especially why we're gonna do something, okay? So three reasons why we should do this. The first one is this, Jesus commands us to do this, to get after people that are far from him. He says this in the Great Commission, go make disciples, which looks like us helping lost people be saved. And and people who are, know Jesus grow in Christ. So this is something he commands us to do. It also is the value in the heart that he wants for us to have for people, right? That we're supposed to love God with all of our heart and also to love our neighbor as ourself. And whenever we think about people that are far from him or need a church family, that means we should reach out to them. So this is something that Jesus, our King, would have us to do. Another thing is this. Another reason why we need to reach out to people far from God is this. Right now in our city, our city is the most lost it's ever been. We got some, some statistics back from from the Louisiana Baptist Convention, our friends, and they let us know that right now in Baton Rouge in 2021, that it is more likely that the person that you talk to today at CVS, the employee that you ask a question to, it is more likely right here in the Bible Belt in Baton Rouge that that person is lost than they would be a Christian. Over half of our city is our people who don't have a real relationship with God. So the harvest is plentiful right now in our city. And another reason is this, the last reason why we should be about this is because we believe this is also probably something we're going to give account to Jesus one day when we stand before him. That we believe this is an important thing that we should live our life on mission, the mission that he's handed to us. And when we think about discipleship, we think about it from a lot of different areas and reasons and angles. And one of the things I think about a lot is um, ultimately we want to train our people for the week ahead but also for the day that they stand before Jesus. So we believe that we want our church to stand before Christ. And when you stand before Jesus, we want you to be able to, to be able to stand in, in confidence that you, you actually tried to reach out to people far from him, okay? So those are some reasons why every Christian should be living their life on mission in hopes that people far from God will come into a real relationship with him and people who've run will come back, okay? So this is the strategy. The easiest way that I know to reach people far from God is this, and it has nothing to do with you having to go door to door. You won't even have to give anybody a track. You're not gonna have to cold call somebody. You're not gonna have to do any of those things. In fact, I think if you do this, it'll only take about 10 minutes a week. And I believe if you do it, God will use you in great ways. So here's the strategy. This is what I want you to do. Everybody go grab a pencil and a pen, something to write with and something to write on, okay? And this is what you do. I want you to write three words on whatever you're writing on, okay? I'm gonna do this on my phone, but you may be watching this on your phone. So write it down on something else. The words are this, work, live, play and write them to where you can make it as a list. It's kind of a heading of a list, all right? Write the word work, live, and play. And this is what I want you to do. I want you to take a minute and I want you to write down as many people's names as you can think of that fall into these two categories in those three places. People that you know that need to know Jesus, that they're lost, that they need to be saved, or people that need a church family right now and you write down their names from the people in there. It's like, think about people um, that you work with that fall in those categories. Somebody that needs to know Jesus or needs a church family. People that you live around in your apartment or in your neighborhood. People that you know that need to know Jesus or need a church family. People that you play with, people that you hang out with, your friends, your family. People that need to know Jesus and people that need a church family. All right, so that's what I want you to do. I want you to take a few minutes and just pause this video and write as many names as you can think of on those three lists, okay? All right, so now that we have our list, this is what I want you to do with it. It's very simple. Again, you're not gonna have to go to door to door. You're not gonna have to call them. You have to give them a gospel track if you want to. This is the simplest way I know how to do it, is I want you to do two things for those people. I want you to pray for them 
and invite them to church. This is what I want you to do for prayer, okay? I want you to pray for these people every single week, all right? And what I'm doing right now is I'm making a prayer list with my people from work, live, and play, and it's called the Thirsty Thursday prayer list, all right? And it isn't uh, a reminder to go to some happy hour, all right? If that's you, that's you, but this isn't me, okay? But for me, it's a reminder of something Jesus told the woman at the well from John chapter four. And it's from John 4, 14, Jesus said this, but those who drink the water I give will never thirst again. It becomes a fresh bubbling spring within them, giving them eternal life. So I have a list on my phone and a reminder on my phone to pray for these people every Thursday. So that's what I want you to do. That's your prayer list. Prayer is so important to reaching people far from God. It is the most important thing you can do is pray for them. So pray every week. I'm doing it on Thursday. It can be any day, but make sure you pray for them every week. And here's the second thing, invite them to come to church with you. Okay? And that can be any week, all right? And it may be if you have a list of 15 people, maybe you invite two or three a month, or, or maybe people in your work, you just have natural conversations, you invite them. I don't care how many times you invite them, but make sure that you invite them consistently to church, okay? Invite them to come with you. And if you don't know when to do it, every month for the rest of the year, we're gonna do a special Sunday that's just gonna make it a lot easier for you to invite your friends. That's why we do things like Baby Animal Sunday or Food Truck Sunday. We love hanging out as a church, but we also wanna make it easier for you to reach your friends, okay? So that's gonna be your alarm going off whenever you hear it on our service, maybe you watch it live or online. Hey, I need to invite my people from my Thirsty Thursday list, from my Work, Play, Live missional list. And here's what I'll tell you to do. If you'll do this consistently for the rest of the year, this is what I believe. I guarantee God will use you. I guarantee it. Like you're going to bring him glory in that you are reaching out to people that are far from him. And also I believe he will use you to help people be reached for the kingdom of God. And the reason why I believe that is this, I believe God uses the willing, not the talented. The people who are just willing to pray and plan, who will be consistent to love their neighbor as their self and invite people into the kingdom, into church family. And here's the thing, our, our city is more lost than it's ever been, both numerically and statistically. And it's our job as light to be light to those who we love. So let's pray and invite. If we do that collectively as a church fund for us this year, God will do things in our church that we have not yet seen. And I'm trusting you to do it as you should trust me to do it as well. Let's do it and see what God does.